Chapter 5 The Slough of Despond Then I saw in my dream that just as they had come to an end of this talk, they drew near to a slough that was in the midst of the plain, and as they took no heed, they both fell in. The name of the slough was Despond. Here they lay for a time in the mud, and the load that Christian had on his back made him sink all the more in the mire. Pliable. Ah, friend Christian, where are you now? Christian, in truth, I do not know. Then Pliable said to his friend, Is this the bliss of which you have told me all this while? If we have such ill speed when we first set out, what may we look for twixt this and the end of our way? And with that he got out of the mire on that side of the slough, which was next to his own house. Then off he went, and Christian saw him no more. So Christian was left to strive in the slough of despond as well as he could. Yet his aim was to reach that side of the slough that was next the wicket gate, which at last he did, but he could not get out for the load that was on his back, till I saw in my dream that a man came to him whose name was Help. "'What do you do here?' said Help. "'Christian, I was bid to go this way by Evangelist, who told me to pass up to yon gate, that I might flee from the wrath to come, and on my way to it I fell in here. Help! But why did you not look for the steps? Christian, fear came so hard on me that I fled the next way and fell in. Help! Give me your hand. So he gave him his hand, and he drew him out, and set him on firm ground, and bade him go on his way. Then in my dream I went up to help and said to him, Sir, since this place is on the way from the city of destruction to the wicket gate, how is it that no one mends this patch of ground, so that those who come by may not fall in the slough? Help! This slough is such a place as no one can mend. It is the spot to which doth run the scum and filth that wait on sin, and that is why men call it the slough of despond. When the man of sin wakes up to a sense of his own lost state, doubts and fears rise up in his soul, and all of them drain down and sink in this place, and it is this that makes the ground so bad. True, there are good and sound steps in the midst of the slough, but at times it is hard to see them, or, if they be seen, Men's heads are so dull that they step on one side and fall in the mire, but the ground is good when they have once got in at the gate. Now I saw in my dream that by this time Pliable had gone back to his house once more, and that his friends came to see him. Some said how wise it was to come home, and some that he was a fool to have gone. Some, too, were found to mock him, who said, well, had I set out, I would not have been so base as to come back for a slough in the road. So Pliable was left to sneak off, but at last he got more heart, and then all were heard to turn their taunts and laugh at poor Christian. Thus much for Pliable.